Come on, let's go. <laughs> Alas, poor prince. I must confess I am not from this planet. Hey, Cloud! I know a lot of people around here need help. When I'm out on patrol, a lot of them tell me about their problems. Do you think you might be interested in helping out? Well, I'm all for it. We still have plenty of time. I'm on the clock. Don't worry. I give you permission. I always have the latest information. Come find me if you want to know. Creatures out there are getting stronger and stronger. But that's no problem for you, though, right? Be careful anyway. I'll make sure to tell everyone around that you're here to help out. That way, you might get more work. Oh my, is that a Moogle? You can see me, Koopa? Then you two must be very, very special people. In that case, welcome to the Moogle Emporium. I'm the owner, Moggy. You must not be familiar with Mog the Moogle. It's a pretty famous fairy tale. Mog wanted to bring happiness to all the Moogles of the forest, so he decided to open a shop of wonders. That's right, Koopa. I opened a store to bring happiness to the slums, like Mog. And you know, only people with the purest of hearts can even see Moogles. Uh, are you talking about me? Well, Moogle magic isn't perfect, Koopa. Anyway, we've collected all kinds of rare and wondrous goods. They can be yours if you've got enough Moogle medals, but you'll need to buy a membership first. If you find any Moogle medals, you can spend them here, Koopa. So, Moggy, what do you do with the medals we give you? Oh, you know what? I use them to make everyone happy. That's the duty of every Moogle. Of course, just like Mog the Moogle. I see you're working hard, Mr. Merc. Yep. So what are you gonna do next? Keep on working hard. As you always do, I'm sure. You know, this is how I earn a living. Huh? Really? I thought you were just doing it for fun. I suppose some people do. Hello, I'm some people. Nice to meet you. Good to see you, Koopa. Until I'm happy. Go on, work your magic. Make me smile from ear to ear. I'll need a lot more medals, Koopo. Well, that won't do. Come on, Cloud. Let's go get more. Good luck, guys. Welcome to the Moogle Emporium. Come back soon, Koopo.
You're that former soldier, aren't you? Cloud, was it? Former soldier turned problem solver. Are you okay, Miss Folia? You look upset. Uh, yeah, I am pretty upset. The kids are still off doing patrols, even though it's now time for their lessons. Not a single one of them has come back yet. Patrols? Is that a leaf house thing? Something they do to help out? That's right. In return for the donations we receive, the kids go around town picking up litter, running errands, that kind of thing. I don't suppose you've seen any of them, have you? Oh. You see, I have some important plans this evening, and I really need to go and get ready. Would you like us to go round them up? Oh, that would be wonderful! There are five of them out on patrol right now. They all wear homemade swords on their backs, so they should be easy to spot. don't you think? Great job. It's wonderful. <sighs> Isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. I saw some Shinra suit walking towards your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Cloud, leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <sighs> Don't take it personal. You Turks are all the same. All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. We need to get back. Stay back. Can't you leave us alone? No escape. Yeah. No. It's on you. Here goes. Gotta get a little cake. Come on, man. Leave it to me. Okay. <laughs> so, you had enough yet? No. I don't believe that I have. No. Oh, that's double. You can't. It's my job. Then think about changing careers. Take it over. <laughs> <laughs> Need a life. Shit! Cloud's pretty strong, isn't he? <laughs> I've seen. 
to the ground. Can't keep eyes open. Let's do this. Take the lead. I'm awake now. I thought you wouldn't want to get rough. No, but this is self-defense. Take it over. <laughs> Let's do this. Here we go. This one's for you. That's that. Please, just leave us alone. You know I can't do that. <clears throat> hey there, partner. <gasps> I'm but, sure you're having the time of your uh, life, but we're needed on standby uh, for a job at something uh, about Sector 7. But, so get your ass back here now. Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. Huh? Determined. These are dangerous. I guess that means more children might be coming to the house soon. And I think the teachers are going to have a whole lot more work to do. Speaking of teachers, Miss Foley is looking for you. Oh man, I completely forgot. I have to get back right now. the patrol. Great! I've been picking up garbage and giving people directions. Plus, I helped an old lady cross the street. You've been busy. It's a normal day for me. Gotta work hard. The house depends on people's donations. Oh, no! I'm late! Did you see Miss Folia? Is she mad? Oh, I gotta go! I'm sorry! Years ago, the that <laughs> you scared me. Hey there, how goes the patrol? I've been watching them really close. I'm trying to learn all about the business. You want to open up a shop of your own someday? Yeah, so I can earn lots of money and use it to help the house. The teachers don't like to talk about it, but we know the donations aren't enough to keep things running. Ugh. But that's a secret, okay? I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Anyway, I gotta go study. And now, the weather report. We're looking at another cloudy day in Midgar, with overcast skies for tomorrow. There's also a chance of rain in summer. You look like some white boy. How goes the patrol? There's a lot more people on the streets than usual. Maybe because the reactor blew up? Well, you've been keeping a very sharp lookout. But 
Don't you think you're forgetting something important? Oh, Miss Foley of Lessons! I gotta get back to the house! Did you know? Super important question? I heard bad people broke the Mako reactor, and there's gonna be another war because of it. Is that true? Who knows? But isn't there something else you should be worrying about right now? <gasps> I forgot about Miss Folia's lesson! I gotta head back to the house! That's everyone. Let's go back to the house. You're talking about Wall Market, aren't you? Now listen to me. You stay away from there, alright? Here you go. The children finally came back, thanks to you two. You've been a great help. Okay, everyone, come inside. It's time to hit the books. <sighs> you guys, the Toad King's back. I saw him near the hideout. We gotta do something about him. The Toad King? A weird, creepy monster we've seen near the hideout lately. He wears a crown and walks around like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's got to be monster royalty at least. I bet a soldier could beat him up easy. Oh yeah, real easy. But here's the thing. I don't work for free. Or cheap. But we don't have any money! The Watch wouldn't ask for money. But if we ask any other grown-ups for help, they'll find out about the hideout. Then that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on, help us! Oh, and we'll give you some cool treasure if you do. And if that's not enough, I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Well, if you won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves. <sighs> I'll do it for three gil. Huh? I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome! Now that's my kind of bargain. The Toad King wants to take over our hideout. He's mean and angry and smells bad, too. The hideout is the only place that belongs to just us. But I want to climb What do you think? Do I have what it takes?